What are we going to get him to do, Cleta? Well, <laughs> we're going to do a short uh, walk with uh, with Benny here. We're going to put a blindfold on you. So just to give you uh, an idea of what it's like navigating through the environment with the help of Guide Dog. So I'm going to be with you and I'm going to talk you through the different things that you need to be aware of, how to follow the dog, how to communicate with the dog, um, how to hold your arm, all that kind of bits and pieces, all, all the good stuff. Uh, so it's just going to give you an awareness of what it's like. This is a good opportunity for you to go downtown, uh, down Grafton Street, pick up um, coffee, Anne. What would you like, Adele? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, three, uh, three coffees, please. Okay, and um, if you want, if you, I don't know, we we could have sent you to a bookshop to pick up a copy of Triggs, the autobiography. But no, we'll we'll just we'll do the coffees. You're going out with a guide dog, completely yes. blindfold. Okay, Lenny You're and Benny's excellent adventure. All right, I'm excellent. You on for it? We're, we're just going to head off, the two of us. Go away for a weekend. And Never be seen again. And you can't say Benny <laughs> find the pub. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Benny, boozer. No. Um, clean it. Lovely talking to you. Sinead, thanks again for everything, thanks for coming in and having a chat with us. And uh, we're going to talk to you in 10 minutes. You hit the streets. See how you're getting on. Anne's going to go with you and Clean is going to take care of you. And of course, Benny, the very important factor in all of this. Uh, we'll check in with you in 10 minutes. Is that okay? Okay. How are you, fella? I, do you know what? It's one of the most alien experiences I've ever had. I've, um, I'm just walking along now. I'm not too sure where we are. Um, for all I know, I could be in the middle of a roundabout. Hopefully you're not <laughs> in the middle of a roundabout. <laughs> they just drop me off or bundle me in a booth, but I don't think they have. Anne, uh, are you there? I'm here, Casey. Yeah, how's right, it going? You, you are, t- you are per se the eyes on the situation oh. here. Um, wh- where exactly are you? He's Whoa. going great. Uh, well, we tipped out of work and we went up as far as <sighs> top of Grafton Street. So, as you can imagine, it's crammed full of people now because it's done time. So it's really, really busy. But he's doing great. He doesn't look nervous or anything like that. And he's just, he's following Benny. Benny is leading him great. And Cleena's helping him out as well. Okay. So he's shouting a bit louder than he normally does. But that's probably <laughs> oh my just God. Like, you know, the fact that he can't see. <laughs> who's, sh- who's shouting louder, the dog or Lenny? Lenny <laughs> is. Remember, he's Okay. Okay. L- Lenny, what instructions have you had you to give to Benny? Uh, I said to Benny, uh, what was it? Two double drop lattes, cappuccino. So I'm just going to wait at some furniture and he's going to pop off and get the coffee. I think. <laughs> right, that's great. We, we've made an agreement on that. I'm currently actually walking and I keep in, it's just this weird sensation that an imaginary lamppost is going to hit me. I, okay. I, I'm a bit of a control freak and everything is taken out of my control. So. It's, it's, it's really it's just it's bizarre I don't know how people do this it's amazing describe um, well, kind of what, what side you're on the dog are you holding him on the right well, he's not well, ran well, off well, on you has he well, I think he might have spotted a cat no, I, I, I'm, on, Squirrel. I'm on his right side and so I'm trying to keep uh, parallel with the uh, the handle that I'm holding okay um, now clean it to the left of me to ensure that we don't go too far and she's she's giving some instructions to him so I would be uh, if I was with him uh, and I was a guide dog owner, I would be giving him instructions as we go along. So it'd be like a partnership. Okay. Um, I'm yeah. getting some heavy traffic now, so this is. Uh, like, I don't know if I'm going to be get, getting up to the curb or, or, or how busy the road is. So I'm kind of stopping here. I'm kind of a little bit nervous. And um, you know that if you, you come across a, a pattern of bumps on the ground, that means you're kind of coming close to uh, you're coming close to a junction. So just yeah. You know, I, I I prefer you stay alive, please, Lenny. If that, I'll that would do be my great. Best. I've a hiding jacket on. Yeah. Keep an eye out for him. He's, he's heading down Grafton Street. And is everything okay there? Everything's good, yeah. Okay. He's grand. He's not even too far away, but it actually is so, so busy. So he's going well. All right, listen, we'll talk to you in a few minutes. Yeah, we'll see you back here in 10. All right. Bye. Good going. He seems to be okay. They're, they're under control. He's back. He's alive. Welcome back to the studio. Lenny's here. How are you? How are you doing? Oh, man, I thought, I thought that was the end of you, really. I thought that we'd never see you again. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll be better at uh, naming vans and vehicles because uh, you, you can tell which is a truck going past you, you can tell which is a smaller what's, car. What's it like for you? It was it's, like it's tw- t- 20 minutes of complete trust to the dog when you went uptown. I'm sweating. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you. And I thought I was going really fast and Clean was saying at the very end of it, hey, no, you were kind of shuffling along and your back was hunched. And yeah. I was like, really? I didn't, I didn't think that at all. So the, the fact that I had Kleena with me, uh, I would, have in, uh, in, in a real situation, have had to put my total trust uh, into Benny, had to be talking to him as we're going along. Yeah. And I kicked a tiny little bit of a, uh, a board that was sticking out, and I just went, ah! Yeah. So I know, and, and the imaginary lamppost, try it. Walk around, you know, don't walk around your house, but, you know, the only time you ever find yourself uh, with no vision at all, when you're at home. Yeah, of course, it, yeah. Is if you wake up in the middle of the night and you, you, you kick the side of the bed or you, you bump into something, you immediately go for the light. So, you know, if you don't have that luxury, 
It, it's just uh, the ears, uh, everything, all the other senses. Your other senses, but yeah, no hiding, obviously. I, I started picking up pockets of conversation from people as I was walking past because Grafton Street is such a busy area, and I was going, I need to concentrate on walking here. I'm just picking up bits and pieces, and then a horse went past. And a horse went past in Grafton Street? Yeah. Okay. I, I, I didn't, I, well, I think Don't it was in Grafton Street. Where was I, lads? It was a horse. It was a horse and a policeman. All right. So essentially, if there was guide cats, that's why you don't have them, because I'd be on a roof. I'd end up on a roof. Yeah. If you would. Uh, well, listen, congratulations, and well done to Benny. He did a great job. He and he's only a little fella. He's, yeah. he's in training. So, uh, Amazing. He did Amazing. really, really well.